LG is one of the three biggest TV manufacturers in the world. You might have one of those TVs in your living room right now. But have you ever wondered how they're actually made? We have. That's why we traveled halfway across the world to South Korea to show you firsthand everything that goes into making that TV that you put in your living room. LG says one of its guiding principles is innovation, retooling a commodity we take for granted into something new and exciting. So where does that start? You've heard of those facilities where highly guarded trade secrets are kept under lock and key, where security is fierce, nobody gets in or out without prior approval. This is one of those places. This is LG Socho R&D facility, and it takes a lot to get in this place. You'll have to forfeit your cell phone, your laptop, but once you get inside, you get a picture of what LG does to take a product from its idea phase through the ringer, it then becomes a prototype and ultimately ends up in your home. All that security means no camera, so we can't show the inside of this place to you, but we were amazed to see the creative labs built to foster open-minded thinking, an entire smart home built into a business building, and research centers where people off the street can interact with products and inform LG's product design. Of course, being AV geeks, we wanted to see how displays and audio gear gets developed. So we first visited LG's audio-focused R&D center, and we were surprised to find out just how seriously they take sound. This sound isolated and acoustically treated room filled with a collection of high-end home audio speakers, some of them are like decades old, is where LG puts its own speakers through subjective tests. LG told us it wants every soundbar, every Bluetooth speaker, every home theater system to stand up to some of the best speakers ever made. And you'd be surprised at how detailed they get. They have data that tells them the kind of sound profiles folks in England like versus the sort preferred by Americans, for example. And they use this information to sculpt the sound quality for distinctly different versions of the same soundbar. So the LG soundbar you buy in London will sound different than you would buy in Cleveland. But while humans can judge sound subjectively, LG demands precision objective measurements as well, which is why they built this incredible room. This is an anechoic chamber. Step inside and the world around you disappears. This is a place designed to block outside sound, so it is completely isolated from the rest of the building. But inside, it is designed to absorb sound. And it's a little eerie because when you talk, you realize the moment sound leaves your mouth, it disappears. The walls are lined with deep, thick sound absorption blocks. This allows LG to measure a speaker's output from every direction, which comes in helpful for testing their 360 degree wireless speakers. With our audio tour complete, we move on to LG's display facilities, where we think we'll see a few TVs and computer monitors. It turns out we have no idea what we're walking into. Behind these doors is a complete history, a museum, if you will, of everything that LG has done since 1966 in the world of television. Welcome to LG's display world. Dating all the way back to when LG was known as Gold Star, this place shows every step LG made from its first color tube TV right up to its groundbreaking OLED. You can step in close to get a deep sense for all the parts involved in a display panel, then step back and watch all that tech at work producing a glorious picture. And then you realize LG display is about so much more than TV. If LG has its way, its tech is going to be infused into objects you never thought had display potential. But perhaps the most futuristic application of OLED isn't actually a TV or conventional display at all. I'm talking about transparent OLED, where you could turn your closet, your windows, or even your fridge into an interactive, transparent display. How about your tabletop? Leave messages for family, watch TV while you eat, heck, do your homework literally on the table. The door to your fridge can be completely clear, or you could use it as your calendar, your kitchen TV, or your shopping list. And why not replace your windows with transparent OLED? Wake up to the weather, catch the morning newscast, or read business headlines. LG's displays are really going to some interesting places. And you may not realize it, but it's also in your car. And I'm not talking about just the stereo screen, I'm talking about the entire instrument cluster. And finally, just for fun, because LG can, there's an immersive room that encapsulates you in 4K OLED display panels, offering some of the most convincing 3D imaging we've ever seen. Practical? <laughs> Who cares? This is just so cool. All right, we've seen the finished products, we've seen the future. I wanna see how this stuff is made. Time for a little trip. So 
far we spent most of our time in the northern part of the country where they do all their research and development. Now we're going to go south to see how they actually assemble all this stuff. And you know what they say, you got to get up to get down. So we've hopped in the LG Corporate Chopper to get down to Gumi and take a look at how they put all this stuff together. This is where the rubber hits the road, or is it panel hits the pavement? The end of a long assembly line results in hundreds of OLED and LCD TVs boxed up on pallets, ready for shipment across the world. And this is just one of many factories. What's really interesting to see is how these TVs are assembled, tested, and packaged all in one contiguous line, with a carefully planned mixture of man and machine synced up for incredible efficiency. Banish any idea of a sweatshop from your mind. This is a state-of-the-art production facility where people work diligently, but this is the furthest thing from hard manual labor. The powered screwdrivers affixing circuit boards to TV panels is carefully calibrated not to over-tighten and suspended from above to reduce fatigue. The TVs pass from station to station with a minimum of human involvement, and when they do need to be moved by hand, they are always assisted. This is best for both the workers and the product. These delicate OLEDs are large and potentially cumbersome, but as you can see, they make it to this boxing station thanks to clever automation. As the TVs pass along the line, they're tested with patterns, various input signals, and various input types. Everything gets verified, even the Ethernet ports. Of course, some defects can't be seen with the human eye, so highly sensitive scanners look to key areas to ensure pixels are all active and firing the way they should. And if you ever wonder if they really do stress test TVs and how, take a look at this room of OLED TVs. They'll undergo hundreds of hours of constant testing with a barrage of test patterns designed to make them trip up. This is how LG can so confidently say that they know the exact half-life of their red, green, blue, and white organic LED compounds and how they can claim 100,000 hours to half-life of a display's pixels. Well, I found that super interesting. I was really surprised at how much testing they did along the line to make sure the performance of the TV was where it was supposed to. It's also really interesting to note that even though OLED panels are more difficult to make than LCD panels, assembling the TVs themselves is actually a lot easier with OLED just because they're so simple and easy to put together. It's also really nice to see that a little bit of automation can keep the process streamlined and efficient while also keeping LG's employees paid well. What a fascinating process and a really cool look inside LG's production of its televisions.